Hi guys! Okay, so I've been thinking about my, my makeup tutorials and I always talk about the brushes I'm using, but I want to kind of get more into detail about them. You might know that I don't have many brushes, but I still can do a lot of makeup with the same brushes. It's kind of confusing, so that's what I'm going to talk to you about. All the brushes I have are Sonia Kashuk brushes. Two of them are white. I think these are more like older and they're a little cheaper. And then these are the more newer ones. And these ones have different, they're just black. So there's the white ones and the black ones. If you don't have a lot of money to go and buy like the Sephora brushes, these are way cheaper. This brush, it's like a multi-purpose flat brush. I'm going to be showing you how I use this later. This brush is $14.99. This big powder brush right here. This is $11.99. This one is just like a domed eyeshadow brush. This one is $9.99. And this is just a flat eyeshadow brush. I could not find the exact price of this, but I do remember it being around $4.99. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I use each one for. Okay, after moisturizing my face, I use my Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. I use my flat brush. All I do is just dip it in like this. Just rub it around my face in circular motions. A lot of people have pointed out before how my skin is uneven. It's hard to tell on this, on this um, video camera because I'm using my MacBook, but um, my skin is very uneven. So I use this just to even it out, and it works really good. This brush blends it in good. You don't want it to look like you have caked on foundation. So all this does is just even out my skin color in all different areas. I use this big fluffy brush with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. The thing is, it's not powder, so what I do, you can kind of tell I've been doing it, is I dig like, with the end of my brush, I just dig a little hole around the outside, just like kind of like, make it powdery. See, I just got some powder, and all I do is take my brush, rub it around, and then I tap it off. And I just brush it all over my face, and this evens out my color even better. Just make sure it's like that much. Just put it on. And a lot of people, you might think um, powder doesn't do anything, but it really does. It makes the biggest difference. Put my Dream Matte Mousse blush on. I realize that this doesn't show up because I have really dark skin, but I still put it on, and I'll show you why in a second. This much on. I use a lot because it doesn't show up. Now, I take my flat brush again, the one I used for my Matte Mousse foundation. I'm going to take this Sephora blush. I've used this in a ton of my tutorials. If you need to, you can like dig in little holes so it's more powdery too. What I'm going to do is do this in circular motions. You can't really tell, but it picks up a ton. All I'm going to do is just sweep it up the cheek. But it works great with blush because it really just like places it in the right spot. Okay, so the next two brushes are eyeshadow brushes. So I'm just going to show you on my hand because I'm not really sure what make makeup I'm wearing today, so I'm just going to do it on my hand. So I put my primer potion on, rubbing it in. Explain. Now I'm just going to use this flat brush. I'm going to use a dark color so you can see what it does. I'm going to use black, and it picks it up so well. All I do with this brush is pat the color on. This brush typically just pats the color down on your eyelid really well. Another thing I use it for is if I want like to put a little eyeshadow down here, I just kind of tap it in, tap, 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 just like that. Now I'm going to show you what this dome brush does. Just pat some purple down. So let's pretend that this purple is your eyelid. So I'm going to take my dome brush, is this, I blend it. I blend it out. That's all I do with this brush. You just blend it out. And it already like softens it up so it's not as bold. You can't really tell. And sometimes I even take the brush and just like dab it in the color, it gets all over the brush. And this is sometimes what I do for my outer crease just to kind of dust it in there. See, like make it look a little smokier. Okay, so those are my brushes. If you guys have these brushes and you use them for something else, tell me. I find that real brushes work amazing. So it's definitely worth the investment to buy a brush. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. And oops, I just said rate when it's really like.